Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Real True Divine Feminine here and I come to have a little chat with you guys. And what I want to talk about is this right here. It's mad weird how somebody will try to get you gone and then they will backdoor and come and offer you a job, offer you an opportunity to be part of their team, offer you an opportunity to work with them after they try to get you gone. After they try to do everything in their power to, to defeat you, stop you, hurt you, harm you, stop your money flow, stop you from shining, stop you from growing. Them same folks will come around, act like they ain't had nothing to do with it, offer you a position, offer you a job to be a part of the same team that try to destroy you. Make it make some sense. I don't understand that for the like of me. Like, okay, so it took your whole team to come against me. Y'all couldn't destroy me. Y'all couldn't take me down. You couldn't break me. You couldn't do nothing. Now y'all want to come off of me a job? Cha. Now you want me to come be a part of your team, the same team that tried to destroy me? Man, I'm telling when I tell y'all people is so toe up out here, people are toe up out here. What makes you think in your right mind? That somebody would even consider going work with you after the shit you did, after the parts you played. Like, come on, man, you try to get me knocked off. You try to get my head loose. Why would I ever consider going work with you? Why would I ever consider being a part of your circle? Why would I even want to be in the proximity of you? I don't even want to be in the same room with you. I don't want to be none of that. Like, people. Y'all, people, real life is delusion out here in this world. They real life delusional. They real life, well, you don't know. They won't know that it was me. I was. I had something to do with it, too. They won't know. Ha, listen, if God is the God of revealers, if God reveals certain things, if God is revealing stuff to you, you don't think God going to reveal that you was a snake, too? You don't think that God was going to go to reveal that you had a part in it, too? So why even embarrass yourself again? But try to come in and offer somebody to work for a company, offer somebody a position after you done done everything under the sun to try to destroy them, try to confuse them, try to manipulate them, try to get their head gone, all the rest of this. Explain to me why. That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense. I tell people this all the time. The only way somebody going to be able to call out your BS if you playing in that person energy. Stay out of people's energy and they won't be able to speak on what you got going on and you shouldn't be mad. They wouldn't be able to expose the crookedness in your company, the crookedness in your organization, the crookedness in your brotherhood, the crookedness in your relationship, the crookedness in your household, the crookedness in none of that. Because you wouldn't be in their energy so they wouldn't pick up your stuff. When you play in people's energy, especially somebody that's in tune, Energy, they going to pick up that. Not necessarily throwing stags at you, but just speaking about what they picking up in the energy. And speaking about it. And then you get offense, offensive and you try to hurt and harm someone. Then when you cannot destroy that person by the lies and everything else you drug up. You want to offer that person a job? You want to offer that person an opportunity to be part of your team? You want to bring that person in? Man, y'all crazy. Y'all real life crazy. Like real, no, like real, real, real life crazy. Like straight dracky crazy. Like let's take these meds. You heard me? Like let's take these meds crazy. That That's what's going on with y'all. Because why? Why would somebody even consider putting they self in a situation like that? Why would somebody even consider with going to work for you, help build your team, help show you the light, Help show you who your ops, give you insight and downloads on who trying to come against you when you try to come against them. Man, nah. That that, that don't happen. Like, listen, anybody I'm co co uh, anybody I'm connected to and attached to, if I see something, God show me something, you best believe. I'm about to hit their line up. Say, listen, this is this and this and this is what I seen. Beware. I ain't never led nobody wrong yet. I ain't never led nobody wrong yet. So I'm saying to you guys, y'all got to learn how to continue to trust in yourself. Don't let nobody come 
bust you across your head to the white meat, the same person that was playing in your face, the same person that doubted you, the same person was saying you was fake, what you were saying wasn't real, what all the rest of that, but everything you said has came to pass and came true. Now they want to come offer you a position and for you to be a part of their team, man, hell nah. You don't need no team, man. You're a one-man army. You don't need no team. Do it by yourself. Continue to do it by yourself. Don't let nobody, don't allow nobody to pull off of you. You heard me? Because these people, they just want to use you. They want to pay you mediocre for you to come get them insight about what's going on. And they going to bird feed you? Man, hell nah. Why allow somebody to bird feed you when you can work for yourself and make your own money, make your own schedule and do all that? Don't let nobody bird feed you on no shit. Point blanket, period. Don't let nobody do it to you. And this is what these people want to do. Now, now they recognize your worth. What you mean? She should have recognized my worth when I walked in the door. No matter how I was dressed, no matter how I talked, how I looked, you should have recognized my worth right then and there. You didn't recognize my worth right then and there. So why now you want to come in and offer me something after you try to destroy me in every which way? Man, come on. Have several seats and catch your life. Several of them. Because you failed this lifetime, my boy. Oh, my God. Whatever y'all is. Boy, God, he, she, they, we. I don't know. All I know, you failed. Failed big time. And you got to learn how to accept what you failed. These people, I'm telling y'all. Sometimes I be like, I can't be of this earth. Because, man, these people... I don't think how they think. They all people be under selfish game. Manip want to manipulate you, do stuff that's gonna satisfy them to win, and thinking you getting the short stick of the, the short end of the stick. When in reality, once they lose you, once you cut them off, once you don't want to have nothing to do with them, they got the short end of the stick. Because guess what? Now they have no more insight about what's going on. Now you're not blessing them with your wisdom and the knowledge that God has given to you. Now these people don't have none of that. And now they, they be upset and they mad. What can we do? Well, we can't do this. We sent this person in to try to deal with them. They didn't, they didn't deal with that person. We sent this person in to try to deal They didn't deal with this person. So we, we, let's offer them a job then. You know? Let's just offer them a job. Let's just offer them a job, a partnership or something. Yeah, like let's just tell them we're going to put all the money behind them or whatever. We're going to sponsor money, but they just do all the work. Man, come on, man. If that's the case, look, good things come to those who wait. You know what I'm saying? All money ain't good money. You feel me? And you might be in a tough situation at this present moment and present time, and you might need someone money. But be careful what contracts you sign. Be careful of who you're getting tied to because people are financially cursed people have done a lot of people have done a lot of stuff to you behind the back that they 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 won't never let you know about it you feel me they won't never be even though you know about it they won't never let you know about it see that's the, that's how i be i know you didn't snake me i know what you said behind my back I know, but guess what i'm still i'm still gonna give you Hello, how you doing? Oh, have a blessed and prosperous day. I'm still going to give you that same energy of me because you know why? You're already defeated. You know why you're defeated? You're defeated because guess what? You stand, you standing by me. You conversating with me, but inside you in deep regret when I'm just sitting over here it, it, it's with rainbows, cupcakes, and stars. Happy. But in the inside, you don't know. You in deep regret, stomach in a knot, got bubble guts. Got all the rest of this because you didn't wrong somebody. And you know you didn't wrong them, but you're not man or woman enough to say that you wronged them. You're not man or woman enough to say you put your mouth on. You're not woman enough, woman or man enough to say you played a part in trying to destroy somebody's character and try to destroy somebody's reputation and try to destroy somebody in every angle. You're not man or woman enough to say it. And Y'all need to not deal with nobody like that. You can't deal with nobody who's not man or woman. Enough. You don't need nobody to go run into a little boy or little girl stage, but they quick to holler about they grown. I can't tell. If you grown, stand on what you did. Why I try to why I try to team up with someone now after you didn't cause all kind of hell or try to cause hell in their life. Try to stop them from opportunities. Try to stop their money. Try to stop all that. Man, that's crazy to me. That is so crazy to me. And, and what person in their right mind would want to be part of somebody like that? Like, 
Like, how you love me? This 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 be the killer right here. How you love me, but yet you try to destroy me. Man, what kind of love? I ain't never heard of that kind of love in my life. You love me, but you try to destroy me. You love me, but you ran my name through the mud. You love me, but you told lies on me. Man, you don't love me. I don't know who you love, but the damn show ain't me. But now you want to come back in and you want to offer a, a relationship, a friendship. What the hell I need a friend with enemies like you? What the hell I need a friend for? God says he'll be a friend to the friendless. You heard me? He said he'll be a mother to the motherless, a father to the fatherless. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Some of y'all be out here be wanting to make friends, be part of different groups and organizations. Them people be having all kind of shit going on behind the scenes. Sacrificing your children, sacrificing your mama, sacrificing your life, sacrificing all this to be part of organizations and shit. Hell no. Be you. Be who God has called you to be. Up in there having all kind of crazy wild sex and all kind of the other kind of stuff. Oh, if you want to be part of this, if you want to be part of this group, you got to sleep with all these members. If you want to be part of this brotherhood, you got to let us all bend you over. If you want to be part of this sisterhood, you got to do, you got to sacrifice this person. You got to do this to that person. You got to sacrifice your kids. You got to, that's stupid. That is so stupid. Common sense is not so common these days. I'm not lying. A lot of people, they are falling victim to a lot of stuff because they swear that they woke and they really is asleep out here. They hard cold. I'm talking about sleeping, snoring, everything. They sleep out here. But let them tell it they are woke. They, they are woke to this so much materialistic shit. They see something that gliss and, and, and shine and their eyes get big as date and oh, I want that. I want that. Not even knowing what's attached to that. What's attached to that? You just sign your life. You just sign your whole lineage to be cursed by trying to be attached to stuff. Not knowing that's the same people that's offering you is the same people that was behind the scenes trying to stop you. And you fall victim to it. You fall victim to it. Soon as they throw a little bit of cash your way. Soon as they make broken promises to you, you throw, you, you, you find. I mean, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand how y'all be out here so sleep on what's going on around you if somebody tell you something y'all quick to say oh i ain't never heard that Man, i know you you ain't gonna hear it if you if you spirit if you if you um if you blind and your if you spiritually blind you spiritually deaf you're not gonna hear it how the hell you gonna hear it if you spiritually deaf your ears ain't open so if, uh, if somebody's coming and tell you something Oh, I ain't heard of that. Oh, no, I don't believe. That's on you. And then when something happens, then then y'all want to spin the bin and be like, man, what you said was true. Man, look, I should have did this. I should have, yeah, should have, could have, would have. Too late. You heard me? You're too damn late. Too late. Because it ain't none of that. Y'all got to be careful with folks like this out here. Be careful when you told somebody something. Be careful of you told, you might have told, you might have told somebody, you might have just met somebody and told them, hey, this, 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 and this happened. They ain't believe you. They looked at you stupid, and then they came along, and then they want to come back and, hey, you know, you, nah, we ain't doing all that. I have faith in everybody. That's just me as a person because I don't see the people. I see what's inside of you. You heard me? I see the person that's crying out for help. I see the person that need help. That's why I don't judge nobody. I don't judge nobody about what they do or how they do it. Because I don't see them. A lot of times, uh, I see spirits within people. And a lot of times, people don't be knowing that they have spirits on them. Oh, God made me this way. God ain't made you arrogant. He ain't made you mean. He ain't made you all like that. No, he didn't. That's a spirit that's on side of you. That's a spirit that you have allowed to get inside of you. But whoever this message is for, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I got. I, I don't know. All I know is, is that y'all got to be woke out here and pay attention. You feel me? Pay close, close attention. Never let no, never let a snake bite you twice. And what I, when I mean, I'm not just talking about an enemy. I'm talking about a friend too. If you told somebody something that you were cool with, 
You heard me? Hey, you know, don't deal with this person, this, this, and this, and this, and that. And hey, nah, nah, I've been knowing this person. I've been nah, nah, nah. And then that happened. Don't let that friend come and be a snake in your life. Because that snake ain't listening to you. You heard me? That so say friend ain't listening to you. That person ain't listening to you. They counted you out. So everybody that counts you out, you need to count them out. But whoever counted you in and be like, man, word. You know, word, bruh. When you tell them, when you tell them something, they take heed to what you say. Word. When they when they do all the rest of that stuff, nah, it's good. We good. We good. And don't let nobody come in. Tell y'all, offer y'all no job, no opportunity to be a part of something. When they was the main ones putting you through some tests, and that's that's my thing right there, y'all. That's another thing that I have a problem with. Why people be trying to play God in people's life? Who the hell are you to try to put somebody to do some tests? Oh, I was trying to test and see if you was loyal. My loyalty ain't your loyalty, okay? I was trying to test and see if you down. My my down ain't your down, you heard me? Because your loyalty is putting me through tests. To see if I'ma stay if you go sleep with this one or sleep with that one. My loyalty to see if you throw something something on me and my kids, if you mess with my money or whatever, if I'ma run to you. Oh, that's another thing. That's just like, I don't know who this person is. I see this person, I will describe them, but they ain't that cute. But anyways, listen. This person, this is a man too. And I remember, um, last, maybe last year, a year before last, I had put out a video about this right here. There was a man behind the scenes, an older man behind the scenes making false allegations. When I say older, I don't know if he, I guess he's older than you. You feel what I'm saying? Making false allegations on you pertaining to your children. Because this man wanted to play Captain Save a Hole in your life. But everything that this man was saying. It backfired because people knew you and knew your character. But what this man was saying, what he thought was that he was going to come in, you was going to fall, call him, beg him, need him. Because this man was trying to humble you, whoever you are. And whatever brotherhood, organization, group that this man is a part of, he was trying to make them feel like he can humble you. And he couldn't. No, he couldn't. This man couldn't humble you. Because God is the one that humbled you. So this man was actually trying to play God in your life. And that same man, I want you to be a part of. I want to put his money to back you. Now I want to put. Uh, now I want to make you a part of his team. I wouldn't fall for it, y'all. But that's just me. I ain't telling y'all what to do. No more. Y'all not my kids. I ain't doing it. I don't even tell my children what to do. I just give them free will because that's what God gives me. I personally, Bree, would not do it because my thing is this right here. So you tried to control some shit in my life. You tried to throw some chaos in my life and now you want me to come and work with you? Now you want me to trust you? So, please. Y'all be out here trusting too loosely with people. Really be out here trusting people. And them same people that be. Y'all got to learn how to keep y'all receipts. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to learn how to keep y'all receipts. That's why I be telling y'all to write stuff down. Journal, write stuff down. If somebody, you have a conversation with somebody, listen. I'm talking about really listen clearly to what they saying. If something catch your word, man, you better write it down. If something catch you fast, quick enough, write down what they say. Because there's a meaning why, there's a reason why that's sticking out the way it's sticking out to what they're saying. Y'all got to pay attention to these folks. How these folks be trying to fast talk you. These folks be trying to use all these fancy words and manipulate stuff. Feel what I'm saying? Same way in contracts. Y'all be out here signing y'all life away instead of getting a lawyer and stuff for that. Like, nah, I'm not going to sign this right there. Let me, can, look, let me get some time to think about it. Let me read it. Take a picture of it. A thorough picture of it and go back and read it or whatever. They be having all kind of stuff in a fine print trying to get you caught up. Y'all got to stay woke out here. Y'all sleeping too much, man. I don't know if y'all tired 
or what's going on. But y'all got to stay woke. Y'all not out here being rooted and grounded. Y'all got to ground yourself. Y'all have to ground yourself. Y'all got to clean your aura. Get y'all some dead salt. Cleanse your aura. Cleanse yourself so that you can see and hear thoroughly. Because I'm telling you, some of you guys, these folks about to come in and offer you a position at a company. The same company that tried to destroy you. Y'all got to stay woke, my people. I just want y'all to stay woke, bro. That's it. Stay woke on everything that's going on around you. Don't be sleep on nothing. Don't get distracted. That's what they want to do. They want you to be distracted. They want you to be tired. They want you to shut up. They don't want you to get up and present yourself. Because if you get up and present yourself, it's making them realize more and more that they can't defeat you. But if you go ghost and you don't do anything and you you don't do what you're supposed to do, they make them feel like they win. Don't let nobody ever feel like they whoop you at nothing in life. Don't never let nobody feel like you're, make nobody feel like you losing and they winning. Nah, baby. It's just this right here. Your race is your race and my race is my race. We all learn at different paces. We all take our time and achieve something. Something might have took you 15 months. It might take me 36 months. You heard me? It might take me longer to do what I need to do. It may take you faster, but you cheated. You wouldn't have cheated, right? Me? I got it out of the mud. I studied. I made sure I crossed all my T's, dotted all my I's. I made sure everything was straight and took care of before I, before I crossed that finish line to achieve this, this accomplishment. Taking shortcuts in life ain't always good. But like I said, these people, they want to come in. Somebody want to come in and offer you some stuff. Offer you to be a part of, like they say. People love to say the winning team. Flonkies. Y'all losing. You ain't no winning team. You ain't no winning team. I'm going to say this till I'm blue in the face. If, if you got to team up with other people to go against one person, you're a flunky. You hear me? You're a flunky. I'm going to say it again. You're a flunky. It's a one-man warrior show. You hear me? It's not no army. I'm not no army. A one-man warrior show. Anytime you got to team up with somebody to go against somebody to try to stop somebody. Anytime you feel like you got the power to stop somebody from being what the hell they need to be or going where they have to go and achieving what they have to achieve, you are delusional. Very much so delusional. Anytime you feel like you have that much power, I don't care if you're a lawyer. You could be a judge, you could be a police officer, a DA, you could be a FBI, a CIA agent. I don't care what position you feel like you in. You ain't got no control over nobody else's life but your own. And guess what? You be so focused on worried about somebody else's life and what they got going on, your shit be falling apart. You heard me? And by the time you realize your life falling apart, it's too late. Because you were so focused, worried about somebody else's shit. You got to learn how to keep your house in order. Make sure your shit good and straight and taken care of before you can worry about somebody else's shit. And y'all don't be trying to do that. Y'all don't be trying to do that at all. Y'all be so focused on somebody else's stuff till y'all ain't none of y'all shit together. None of y'all shit lined up. None of it. I, don't, I, need, to, I need to make it make some sense because it ain't making none. It's not making There's no way I'm about to be so focused. Or somebody else and what they got going on. I'm running around here with sex addictions, drug addictions, poor financial uh, uh, literacy, poor education, poor hygiene, poor any of that. I'm going to get me together. You heard me? And I'm going to clap for you while you on your stuff and while you getting you together. But while you getting you together, um, congratulations on your accomplishments and your achievements or whatever. But while you getting you together, man, I got to get me together. I got to focus on me. I got to stand tall and do what I need to do for me. Not be worried about what you got going on, how you eating. Tell this all the time. Can't nobody eat off your table if they ain't brought no food to your table. They, these people ain't brought no food to your table. They try to eat off your table. They try to snatch your whole table from you. And you built that table up from ground up with no help, no nothing. It was only you and God that built your foundation. It was only you and God built that table. God said, I'm going to lay this foundation for you. Let me see what you can build. And you built it. But yet they try to take it from you for greed. They try to take it from you because they felt like you didn't deserve. And now they want to come and offer you something? Man, that shit is bananas. They are they coop out here. 
They really out they coop. But they thinking that you weak minded. They thinking that you're not intelligent. They think you're not smart. You smarter than what they think they is. They catching on to that now. You playing. I tell people, you don't have to expose everything about your life and your time. The best things are hidden. You best believe that. The best things come out the ones that you don't think that got it. And these folks, whoever they is, they see you got it. So now, that's why they want to come in. These folks want to come in and offer you this. They want to want you to be a part of their team, part of their clique. And I don't like that. I don't like a team and I don't like a clique. But they want you to be a part of their team and their clique. So, again, I don't know who this message is for. This message just dropped on me and I just had to come share it with you guys. Learn to stay woke, my people. Don't be out here sleeping. Don't sleep on yourself and don't allow nobody to sleep up on you. You ain't got to expose your hand to everything that you know. You ain't got to expose your hand to everything that you do. But don't let nobody feel like they can play on you. Don't let nobody feel like they can discredit you. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they feel like they, because they got like some little education credit that nothing. You might have street credit, spiritual credit, and education credit. That's something that they don't have. You know how to maneuver and move. And they feel like, they feel like the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you look, that you disqualified. God calls the disqualified, I promise you. That's the ones he called. Because he know that that's the one that can sit in a room with a CEO and go sit down with the bombs, point blank and period. So God know what, who to call. He know who to put in the right for position. So that's why he put you in the position that he put you in. Because they all cornered you out. They all thought that you wasn't going to make it. They thought that you couldn't do it. They thought that you couldn't stand. And now they want to take account of, they, now they wanna take account of, your, your, of what you built. What? Tell me where I owe you something from where I'm at. I don't owe you shit. shit. The person who gave birth to me, I don't owe them shit because they ain't helped me. So why would I owe you something? A plump stranger. We have no ties. You're nothing to me. Why would I owe somebody something? You don't owe nobody nothing to getting where you got but your own self. You and God put you where you need to be. Always remember that. Don't let nobody guilt trip you like you owe them something. You don't owe nobody nothing. And I hope and pray you're not old, out here owing the bill collectors. I hope you're handling your business and paying your bills and doing what you got to do so you don't owe them. You don't have to team up with nobody to, to make their organization better. You don't have to team up with nobody to make their group better. You don't have to team up with nobody to make their business flourish and grow. You don't have to do any of that. God give you free will. You could be a popular loner out here. You could do it by yourself. It might take you a little while to get where you need to get. But long as it's you applying pressure going at your own pace, you're going to be straight. You're going to be taken care of. Don't let nobody rush you to getting where you need to be. Do what you need to do at your own place. Because remember, these are the same people that try to put adversity in your life. This is the same people that was doing all this behind the scenes. But now I want to come in. And offer you something. A peace offering as they say. With peace. Shit you been in peace. So peace. Who the peace for? For them or for yourself? So y'all stay woke. It's your girl the real true divine feminine. I pray this message help who it needs to help. Reach who it needs to reach. Please like share and subscribe. Peace.